Hi guys and welcome to today's video which is going to be an unboxing of this lovely thing. Okay so uh, I had a bit of an issue with this uh, because I ordered it from Amazon and it didn't uh, actually arrive at all and it's really weird and luckily I got my money back and uh, I was able to order it online from a local company uh and it was in stock and it arrived when they said it was going to arrive and that's just brilliant so let's just get to it you know what it is because obviously you've clicked on the thumbnail but oh god how the hell am i going to open this da, da, da. okay i got my invoice too i'm gonna throw that in the filing system here it is this is the box and it is pretty decent looking nice uh, design on it nothing on that side apart from the serial number then you got a different view of the gimbal on that side then just the Weeble S and the Zune or Zayun um, logo on that side and then a whole bunch of barcodes on the end. So in the um, list of accessories, you get two batteries, a battery charger, or a battery clip to put it into the thing, uh, a handle grip, uh, or a hand grip, and you've got the gimbal itself, something else which you can't really make out, uh, a plate for your tripod, three screws and some sticky adhesives and a whole bunch of cables. So if you can just see there, that is what you get. So we'll see if it's all in here. So the tamper proof is not tampered with. So let's just open it. Oh wow, okay, so they've really made an effort with this, so I'm going to file that too. I must say that the quality of the box feels really nice on the outside, but we don't really care about boxes. We want to get to the actual device itself, so this is how it's presented. Yeah, I still don't have a desk to use, so you just take this card off. It's got the branding on there, and then you just take the item out. <sighs> now, I've seen a few other people on YouTube uh, complain that the case that comes with it is not useful. Um, but the thing is, it's not a carrying case. It's just a case to put it in when you're not using it. Now, if you wanted a carry case, this thing is so small and light, you can just stick it in your backpack or stick it on the side of your backpack or just handhold it. It's not going to be like a major issue. But yeah, let's uh, get to opening it. Ugh. Don't know why they're using this plastic to be fair, because I think the styrofoam case it should have been good enough. I guess it just means that it hasn't been tampered with and it's been plugged in properly. Oh, what's this? I get... That's not a CD, is it? You wouldn't get a CD these days. I think that's the manual there. And you get this inlay card with accessories uh, in English and in Chinese. I'm going to look at that later on. So here is the case. It's a storage case it's not actually a case that you can carry around because there's nothing to hold on to so what we will do we will just open this up oh come on now there's a good gimbal and i've opened it up the wrong way around always the case i always op open up things the wrong way around there you have your various bits now, I bought an external battery pack, a battery charger, just so I, um, it's all right, <laughs> it was just a handle. So I bought a uh, battery charger um, 
from Amazon and uh, I'm going to be hoping to use that to charge the batteries. I'm not sure if they're charged at the moment but for this particular unboxing video we will try and uh, run this uh, lovely device. So the handle which fell out because I opened it up the wrong way around. Okay so let me take, whoa that's that's kind of heavy but it feels nice like it's a, it's a good weight and when the camera's on it's going to be even heavier so we take the lovely hand uh, held tripod mount and this can be used as a tripod there and you'll probably use that when you're setting up the gimbal so we're going to put that there for now and it's got a locking mechanism which looks pretty slick but let's see how good it is okay it's locked into place and these are obviously locked in so you can just click on these red buttons and then uh, they will be unlocked for you to use so let's put this down for one moment so here we have a base plate or it actually looks like a base plate riser or something it's not an actual you don't have the little screws there but I know the screws inside the package so we will use those this is what you mount your camera onto so we are going to use this this is the main base plate you put the camera screw in there and then you um, rest your lens on that bit there I don't uh know why you would rest your lens on there but obviously if you have heavier lenses that would be good but it's a very short amount of travel to be fair so i don't know how effective it would be um this is pretty much classed as the go-to gimbal for mirrorless uh cameras and uh, i think that's where this will shine um, and that's probably why the travel is so short okay so the next two items i'm going to do together which is the batteries and the charger for the batteries so it's charged via usb-c one of the things about these batteries is the fact that they are branded as a and they say you have to use their batteries which are 18650 batteries at uh, 2600 milliamp hours and the 3.6 volt battery so if you were going to get any uh, replacements I'd probably look for that spec or maybe slightly higher now I don't know how well these batteries are going to last to be honest with you so let's just plug these bad boys in so one side there and one side there and I'm just going to connect it up, they light up, so I'm going to leave them on to charge for a moment and now we're going to look at the uh, box that we've got here, so these are all your cables, so we've got the charging cable which we will keep to one side we've got the three screws for the various different mounts or mountings And we have the cables to be used with uh, various cameras. So this is a uh, USB-C to micro. This is a micro. This is a micro to a mini. And this is a micro to a micro. Cool. So I don't know which one I'm going to be using right now. So the first part of the process is to install the camera onto this gimbal. So we're going to pop this in here. No we're not because it doesn't fit. Why doesn't it fit? Okay so what I was trying to do was right but I had to take the uh, quick release plate off uh, this. So this is, I don't know, I think this is the quick release plate and this, I don't know. Um, whichever is which, I had to take, uh, I had to untighten this, press this in, this lifts up and then the screws actually do fit but you have to go to the end and then screw them in and then they're available so let's get the camera, so this is the ATD and let's add 
Okay, so I've got a problem there. There's a bit of a gap and I can't do that. So I can't do that. Can I? Can I do that? No. So what I need is this gap plate and screw this in to the hole there. So I basically need to add another screw down the bottom. So if I just do that quickly, you do need the three screws. So let's go. Uh, unscrew this now. This is ridiculous. I'm glad I'm doing this now. And not when I'm actually working at a show. Ah, pain in the ass. So this is why unboxings are really good. Because you get to know how to use your kit. Come on, there you go. Okay, so I need one here. Okay guys, it's always good to have the right tools for the right job. So I would invest in tools for whatever you're doing. It will save your equipment. It will save you hassle. And you get the job done properly. Okay, so now I need to figure out, so I'll pop that there. Whoa. So now all I need to do is just line that up there and then screw that in. Hey guys, so I got the plate on and uh, yeah, that's really good. That's ready to go. I don't real. I don't know uh, what I'm going to do about dismantling this and putting it on another device. It's going to be it's going to be awkward to try and use it on another tripod or on something else. Okay, so I've put that into place. I'm going to squeeze that down. So that black one there is down. This trigger is now not able to be pressed in. And we've got the first part of our uh, gimbal setup set up. So now to get the actual gimbal, what we need to do is unclick that, unclick that. But I guess it would be a good idea to actually put the batteries in at this present moment. So I had I have to flick this open. Do I have to do something on this side? No, that's for that. So if I keep that as it is. Okay, so that's a bit fiddly to uh, get out. And now we're going to put the we're going to put the batteries in on the back side here. So, oh, these are hot, and I've only had them in the um, charger for a minute. So, put the first one in. Put the second one in. Where's the plate gone? Now I'm going to have to do this off screen because I don't have a desk in front of me. So clip that into place. Where's the, where's this? It's meant to be like that, yeah? So basically you set it like this and it should be good to go. So let's pop this in. I'm not doing this very gracefully. Okay, so I got it on. These little clip things are, allow you to uh, slide this left or right uh, because of obviously your handle grip. 
So I've just put a bit of gap there. Maybe I'll need some more, but when you're actually um, setting this up, you need to have your um, have your uh, flip out screen out if you've got a flip out screen, and then obviously you need to zoom out your lens to either all the way or halfway to get the right balance for your lens. Now that's a good tip that I learned off somebody's YouTube channel. I can't remember who it was now, but that's good. Now the next part is to figure out which one of these <laughs> I need to use. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to download the um, app for this camera. So I'm downloading ZY Play now. All right, so I'm not going to use those cables. I'm going to see how it works just like that, as it is. Oh gosh. All right, so the power button's on the side here. So I'm going to switch this on and I'm going to select which device I have. Well, that's good, isn't it? It's only giving me the option of the Smooth Q, Crane S3 or 3S. Okay, so I've now switched this on. Oh God, this is heavy. And it's complaining about something now. It says access lock, so I'm going to disconnect the access locks. Okay, so that is done. Let's switch this bad boy on. This is the Weeble S, and I've currently got the basic package, which is the um, gimbal itself the um, the tripod grip and also just the other little bits um, that it needs to work and that's pretty much what you get in the actual uh, box but um, what I actually need is a quick way to unscrew this or take this off and put it there but that's going to take too long too. As you can see, that was quite a lengthy process. And if I'm filming a wedding or any particular type of event and I need to be running and gunning, I can't really switch from uh, low slung to standard uh, very easily. So what am I going to do for that? I'm going to get a couple of these. So these are uh, called the Transmount Quick Release Plates. And uh, I've got two of these. I'm going to stick one here and I'm going to stick one here. And hopefully that will sort out my little problem. And um, just to stop myself from getting any issues taking this off and putting it there I've got myself another grip now this grip is from a company called small rig and I've seen a lot of people use their stuff and it's always really good quality so I'm going to see if it's better quality than this and this is pretty decent so first things first let's get the um, mounts put on so um, I've got two of these and um, they came very quickly to be honest with you and that was pretty good it seems like they've got a lot in stock so all I need to do is take this off basically it's just this it comes it comes with a guide don't know if I need to read that to be honest with you so I'm just going to put that there and all it does, it connects to this and I'm not sure how it's going to work. So we're going to try this out live. So I'm going to put this one at the bottom. There you go. They are kind of heavy, but um, they are made of metal. So you know that they're going to be um, long lasting and they should be good. So tight as I can on there. Push that into place 
and then I basically push this down and it comes out and I can plop it on there so let's let's do that okay so how do I put this back on that's weird okay so to release the mechanism you push that down and it clicks down and to put it back in you use the same technique so you push down and then you push down again and then there you go it's in it's a bit fiddly but you are doing things like uh, one-handed so now let's open the other one okay I'm just gonna rip this one up Ugh. It's so much harder when you're trying to use force. <laughs> Let's just take that off. Ah, so impatient. It's like Christmas. Okay, so come on. There's a good thing. There you go. Okay, oops. So we take this section and pop it on here and that's pretty good there's a bit of a lip there but i don't think it's going to be too much of a problem so the mechanism is push upwards i don't know if you can see that so <laughs> that was quite scary actually um, and that stays like that or you can just oh god that is fiddly so if you're ever going to take this off make sure there's a handle on it i had to use two hands and i had to have this on the table and i had to push that up and put it back in that was difficult <laughs> okay so now for the next piece of the puzzle Ta -da! why amazon why can't you make better pull tabs this is my first ever small rig item i am going to get more small rig items because i think they're really good and they're at a decent price um but this one we'll see how good everything is secure in here because i'm sure you know that most of this stuff comes from china and this item itself is going to be mainly metal so it's not really going to be too much of a problem with like damage or anything like that so okay that's how it comes it's all squished in like that it is nice and heavy now sometimes that's a good thing or sometimes that's a bad thing but it's definitely heavier than the handle grip that comes with the Weeble S so let's see and then it's just in a normal bubble wrap bag and here it is it looks like a gun grip look at this bloody hell and that and this is actually good it's a gun grip because i'm going to be using it like this and it needs to be uh, good quality it comes with whoa look at that an allen key it's, ma it's magnetic as well i'm definitely going to lose that at some point and this is the securing mechanism so we're going to test this out now it's rubberized here and it's rubberized here and the rest of it is just machine metal it's got these mounting points here on both sides so um, i can use that for something it's got a hot sh a cold shoe mount here and uh, more tripod style mounts there it's really really feature rich you know see we've got this bit here which i can probably use that for a lanyard or something but yeah let's try it out ah.
there we go and then it's off so if I don't need it I'll just put it in my back pocket but I want to put it back on I do a new shit I need to put it on like that but first I've just noticed something there's little pins still available uh, there are still pins here visible I need to make sure that uh, they don't cause any issues now it seems to be secure enough that's good there you go it's in place wow look at that that's really good it's not moving so i can film like that i've got a hot shoe mount if i need it i've got other mounts here i can mount a light here i can mount pretty much whatever i need to so i can just hold this like that I've and it gives me a lot more grip and I can do even more controlled movements and uh, yeah that is pretty solid that actually looks really cool I, I love the design of this I really like the design of that and it feels nice it feels as good quality as this actually it feels better because most of the surrounding uh, parts of the leg are actually met, uh, are actually plastic but yeah well happy with that okay guys so um if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos and i'll see you next time thank you